Encaustic painting. It's an ancient medium used for painting on paper or canvas or wood. Why not? You can paint anything. Anything. Janine Norton, she's an instructor at Snow Farm in Williamsburg. She's here to show us how it's done. It looks gorgeous. It's so much fun. If you like playing in wax, getting your hands in there, this is great. We have a board which we use as our, our surface or support mm -hmm. um, because wax is going to bend or melt. Um, so we paint it with white. You could start with another color. And then we paint it with the DeMar resin and beeswax, which in this um, medium, we call it a medium. Uh, so that's what's on these boards that you have in your hands. And so that serves as the base for this painting mechanism. This yes. is how we're going to do yes. it. Okay. So we've already got some um, medium on here. And um, at this point, we can decide whether we're going to kind of dig into the wax or we're going to build something up on top of it. Um, we can take a Xerox and burnish that down onto it or something from the newspaper. We can take uh, graphite paper and draw mm -hmm. on it. Um, we can take netting. This is a tangerine but, container. Right. We could lay that down and then paint over it, lift it off and then fill in, which the blue one, little square down there, has used that. That is, um, I'm so fascinated by this. And there's also, uh, oh, that's the one that you're talking yeah, about right that, there? Yeah, that's the um, onion bag, the that's amazing. netting. amazing. Now, these are all, the, all of this work is what you've done. Yes. And so it's an example of encaustic painting and really just the, the variety and all the different things you can do. And it's really cool. Just, I, I'm fascinated by what you do. I think it's very neat. But all the different things that you can use, like cookie cutters and, and yeah. you know, things around your home. It's a mixed yeah. medium because you can use a whole lot of different things. Right. So you can build, in, build it up as a collage if you're into doing that kind of a thing. You have some cocktail napkins underneath your oh, hand yeah. there. Um, you can put newspaper in. Now you would turn that over. I'm itching to get started. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm just like, put wait. it down and burnish it. So you want your surface flat and you're just going to burnish like this now, what everywhere. What is burnishing? Burnishing is um, constant continuous pressure and you're transferring whatever is on there and you get the agate to burnish with. So go ahead and burnish with that. How long do I have to do this? Well, while? you can don't don't um, keep a finger on it and then lift it up and see how far you've gone. So keep a, your oh. thumb down there, thumb down there, and look, you've already got some. Oh. So just keep burnishing at that. Well burnished, Ashley. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a beginner at this, but okay, I'm here working we go. on it. I'm okay, check so mine. Janine. mine says life is an audition on the side. Here we go. Oh, I like that one. I saw that. So tell us over here you have a griddle, but we're not making right. pancakes. So you're just you're just transferring imagery over onto it. Over here. These waxes come in different colors, and we're going to we'll melt them on here and keep them molten. So that's the process here in painting. I'm not a painter, so I don't paint, but you can, you can paint. Um, you get these molten, so now this is soft, and I can move it from the hot griddle over here to the encaustic board. Um, I can water it down with some medium just to make it a little bit thinner. And in this case, how about if I just use an old nail and... I'm going to take one of these um, lines that I, these metal things that I cut to make my own curves, which you'll see down there in one of them, and I'm just going to run this across here. And so you're removing some of the wax. I'm removing that wax. That's right. And now what we can do is we can grab the paintbrush and we can start to fill in. And what's going to happen is the wax that's colored is going to go in there. And it seems like this is just absorbing the paint so well. It is. And then we're going to use something to scrape it back. And you see when you pull the rest of this off, you end up with that perfect line. Look at how perfect that line is. That is so cool. Isn't that cool. great? So if you look at some of my work there, this is what I'm interested in right now in playing with. So you could use a cookie cutter and you could push that in. This may be a little hard to push in. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, if you needed to have it a little softer, we do have um, a heat gun oh, that we use. Look at that. And when you do this, you need to heat the wax in between every layer in order to fuse it down to the previous layer. Otherwise, it has a small amount of space in between the layers of the medium and eventually it could crack or bubble up. But now that this is a little bit warm, why don't you try um, this warmer area? You, it's gonna go right down into it. Aha. Uh -huh. See how that goes? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, and now what color would you like to use? Um, I like pink. So go ahead and melt some pink. Okay, I'm going to melt it right there. Look at how pretty that Isn't is. Isn't that fun? Oh, and yeah. And then grab the medium brush and add a little medium to it. That, medium. Yep, this just drip, drip it in there. Okay. There you go. Great. That's enough? Yep. And, and then take a new brush because that other one has yellow. Okay. And go ahead and paint some pink into that. Oh, get more. Lots more. Oh, I might need some more yeah, paint. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more medium in here. Okay. One more time. There you uh, go. That's there see, we go. there we go. This is so fun, Janine. I don't I just want to keep keep doing it. This know, is I, great. It's rare that I go through like so much time without talking. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent enthralled right <laughs> I now. Know, get your too. hands in it. I don't want to do anything else today but this. So now what now that now, I've done that. You're just gently gonna use this to scrape back. And then you're going to be left with that beautiful line Pink from your heart. cookie cutter. So Try it, it that really just real gently. Hard to mess and it up. And you probably want to trade. I would love with to. Ashley. Get out of here. Yeah, move How over I go? there. How I go? And choose a color, and melt it up on the on the griddle. Okay, choose a color. Okay, we're going to move move you that okay, way. There you way. go. Get yep. out of here. Okay, so now choose a color that you'd like to work with. Blue. Okay, melt it here. Yeah. This is fascinating. There you go. It becomes molten. Oh. Yeah. And then we're going to add some medium to thin it out because that's okay. really thick. Now, Here unfortunately, we we're out of time, but feel free. I'm going to work during every commercial <laughs> break on this thing. By the end of the show, <laughs> Wait, maybe I'll be heart. able to show You have to see my heart. Well, Ready? come take a class at Snow Here Farm with there me. There it is. That's true. There's my heart that and, I just And what's the website away. for Snow Farm? Snowfarm.org, is that right? Yes, that's right. And you have all sorts of classes all we year do. long. And I'll be teaching this come next winter. This is so fun. Thank you so much, Janine. You are a welcome. A work in progress.